All right, all right, all right, you guys. Welcome and welcome back to the Nutcase Network. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your love and support. And for all of you guys who are here, who have subscribed, who consistently like the videos and support the channel, thank you so much, you guys. We are going to go ahead and do another reading for you guys. This is Collective. Anything y'all need to know is in the description box below. Be sure to subscribe if you have not done so already. Be sure to check out my other channels. Subscribe everywhere, okay? I definitely want people to subscribe. I'm not going to lie. I want you to subscribe. I want you to like the videos. I want you to watch. But I, I also want for us to be able to talk and work through the issues that we're going through because <clears throat> it's a lot of crazy shit going on. So that's why we're going to go ahead and do another reading. I am running a special on readings. Check the description box below. You guys. Okay. Guardian angels, archangel spirit guides and ancestors, father, mother, God, for my collective. What is the message? All right, so we have passion. There's something that you are passionate passionate about. Y'all, the retrograde is already fucking with my mouth. There's something that you guys are passionate about. There's something that you have a lot of passion for. Best possible decision and knowledge, okay? So I feel like you're very knowledgeable with something. It's like you have a lot of information that you want to share or that you need to share because your knowledge could help someone else. I just heard knowledge is the key to granting all wishes. So the more you learn about something, the more knowledgeable you become, the more experienced you are, the more your wishes will come true. So by you learning how to do something, maybe by reading a book, taking a class, studying online, that was the best possible decision that you could have made because it made you very knowledgeable about something that you have a lot of passion for. That you're extremely passionate about. So yeah, we have courage. Now's the time to show uh, how courageous you are and how imaginative you are. So I feel like you're about to have a lot of imagination, inspiration. I feel like you need to imagine the things that you want in your life because that's what's going to come to you. The attitude that you have right now is very important. <clears throat> attitude of gratitude. It's very important the attitude that you hold because you're going to get more of the same. So if you have a positive attitude, positive things are going to happen. If you have a negative attitude or negative thoughts, negative things are going to happen. So I feel like spirit is challenging you to be courageous. I feel like you actually have already exhibited a lot of courage, resilience, perseverance, and strength. To make it through something that was really difficult. But now, instead of dwelling on the difficulties, dwell on the possibilities. Because I feel like you are experienced now. Like you're experienced. You have a great deal of experience that you've gained. Sounds like I'm saying it wrong, but I'm not. <laughs> you have a great deal of experience that you have gained. And I feel like, honestly, I feel like God wants you to share that experience with other people. Whatever the experience may be. You may see it as something trivial or small, but it's not. It's something that is actually going to like end up helping someone with, with some type of trial and tribulation. I feel like a lot of you guys, if you went to school or you studied something very rigorously, that was the best possible decision that you could make. Or if there's something that you're passionate about, 
I feel like your spirit guides are calling you to, to learn as much about it as you can. Because I feel like your knowledge is going to prove to be valuable in the future, the near future. All right, so what is the message for the collective? Okay, two of pentacles. So I feel like you're trying to make decisions right now. You guys could be definitely going through some financial struggles, trying to make ends meet, trying to pay bills, get bills paid. Four of swords. Somebody's waiting for you to wake up. You could be kind of tired because some of y'all could be working two jobs or you could be juggling two businesses or you're just trying to make ends meet. Possibly for your children or for people who are dependent on you. I feel like y'all are needing to take naps or you're feeling exhausted during the day. I feel like there's an exhaustion that you feel from trying to like keep things afloat. Y'all are tired. It's like y'all are tired of coming up short on the bills. Y'all are tired of having to, you know, rob Peter to pay Paul. Y'all are tired of like just having to stretch shake a dollar tree like y'all are tired of that shit it's very exhausting yeah ten of wands i feel like y'all are y'all have everything on your back the burden is all on you i don't i don't really feel like there's anybody helping you seven of cups and the nine of cups yeah i feel like you have mixed feelings about something I'm going to put these back. I feel like you're trying to make a decision. Maybe you're trying to figure out if you're going to keep both your jobs. Or you're trying to make a decision if you're going to work your job and your business. Or you're trying to figure out, like, what you're going to do. I feel like some of you guys could be also healing from a back injury. Or you could have had some type of back injury recently that's caused it to be kind of difficult for you to work. Or you're just extremely stressed out. Like you have a lot that you're carrying. And it's like you really don't have enough to like make it through. But you, it's like you're really trying to make it through. But it's like very exhausting. I feel like you're, you're tired. But you know what? I feel like you've been putting in a lot of work. And I feel like you're almost there. Like you've almost reached your destination. Or you've almost gotten to the point where it won't be so difficult. Okay. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, yeah, we have the three of wands. Man, y'all are really trying to be positive. You're really waiting for a breakthrough, but I feel like y'all are tired. Y'all are waiting for a breakthrough, but you are extremely exhausted. I feel like you... you you're trying to figure out new ways to do things. You're trying to be innovative. You guys are trying to be resourceful. It's like you're trying to learn from your past. You're trying to learn from your mistakes. Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so I, I feel like a lot of you guys are like working on a job and a business at the same time. Some of you could be single moms. You could be trying to entertain your kids or keep your kids, keep your house afloat. Okay. You're trying to finish a project, but I feel like you're working two jobs or you're working on a business and a job. Or you have two businesses. It's like you're doing two things at once. You're you're multitasking. You're doing things, you're doing a lot of things at once, trying to stay above water. Yeah, but I feel like you're worried about your finances. 
you could be thinking about a time when things were easier or like wishing that you could go back to a time where things were easier. It's like you really want to get yourself out of a situation. But maybe you don't see how. It's like you can't. It's like you feel trapped. In this state of like. Struggle. What else is the two of pentacles? Queen of pentacles. Eight of swords. Queen of swords. Yeah, it's like, I feel like you guys are trying to be realistic about your life, your house, your bills, your expenses. It's like you're trying to be realistic. It's like you're trying to be optimistic. And I feel like you really want to, you want to be imaginative and believe that your dreams can come true. But it's like, you don't see it. And it's so hard for you to picture it because... A lot of y'all, all you know is struggle. So it's like you're really trying to, to search for the light. You're really trying to stay positive. You're learning how to be positive. You're learning how to look at the bright side. You're learning how not to be anxious. And you're learning how not to be negative about situations. When, when it's like when your money fluctuates or your energy fluctuates... You're, you're learning how to look on the bright side and see the glasses half full instead of half empty. And it's really hard when you've been struggling your whole life. When you've been a single mom, your mom's been a single mom, your grandma was a single mom. Or you grew up in a single parent household. It's hard to see the light. I feel like a lot of you guys are worried that you're going to be stuck in this situation forever. But I don't think that's true. What's the Four of Swords? Because imagination and courage is here. And whatever, they, I feel like Spirit is telling you that the best possible decision that you can make is to go after what you're passionate about. What you know. Your knowledge your wisdom, your courage, and your imagination and passion, it's all going to bring you to a new level. And I just feel like you guys have to try your best. Try your best to see it. What's the Four of Swords? Two of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're deciding to end something. Like one of these things that you're juggling, you're trying to figure out if you should end it. Yeah, but I feel like you're not sure. I feel like you're confused about what the right decision is to make. You're trying to make a choice and it's really hard. It's like you have to choose between so much. It's like you, you I feel like you guys are just tired of having to sacrifice. Tired of not knowing like where your next meal might come from or tired of not knowing tired of just not having any security and stability tired of having to choose between survival and happiness but i feel like you guys are are cutting something out that may be confusing to you like it may be clouding your judgment um i feel like some of you guys need to get more rest because you're not getting enough sleep. And that could be clouding your judgment. Four of Swords. Two of Wands. Seven of Cups. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Judgment. See what I'm saying? It's like you really want to make solid decisions. So that you can make your dreams come true. But I feel like y'all are either like not getting enough rest. Or I don't know if you're drinking too much, smoking too much. I don't know. But there's literally like a cloud. Some of you guys are not sure if you can follow your dream right now because you need to pay the bills. You need to make ends meet.
I feel like you want to have stability, justice, four of wands. I feel like you want to have stability in a relationship. I feel like you want to be fairly treated with whatever situation is going on in your life. It's like you want to do the right thing for your family. You want to do the right thing for the people in your home, for your close relationships. You guys really just want to do the right. It's like you want to make the right choice. You want to have you you want to make a good decision. I also feel like you want to be treated fairly as well. I feel like there's a relationship, maybe a divorce or family situation, a home situation where you feel like you're being unfairly treated. You may be feeling like you're being unfairly treated at work or that work is unstable. But I feel like a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys feel like your work is unstable or your business is unstable. But some of you guys may feel like there's actually a person who is not helping out the household. Maybe someone who lives with you who's not working. It could be a teenager. Or it could be like, a co-parent who's not paying child support, not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Someone is supposed to be helping you. But it's like they can't keep a job or this teenager in your house can't, can't keep a job or they don't want to go to work. They're being lazy. You could be trying to decide if you're going to kick this person out. Some of you could be trying to decide if you're going to kick your boyfriend, girlfriend, baby mama, baby daddy, husband, wife. You could be trying to decide if you're going to kick them out. If they're already out your life, you just feel, and they don't live with you, it's like you just feel unfairly treated. That came out stupid. You just feel unfairly treated. You feel like you're the one who's always got to be stressed, making sacrifices, and they just sit around being unstable all the time. You feel like it's all on you. No matter what your predicament, whether the person is in the house with you or not, it's like y'all feel like it's all on you. What's the Ten of Wands? But I feel like Spirit is trying to tell you to stay optimistic with this Three of Wands and the courage. I feel like you've had a lot of courage and perseverance. Yeah, King of Cups. You've been very poised with your emotions. You are poised and classy. You have not uh, been flying off the handle. You've not been getting stressed. You've been trying to handle the situation with balanced emotions. You've been trying to come at the situation logically, even though you may be a little worried about it. You've really been trying to make good decisions. You haven't been trying to jump to the gun. You're not trying to like be sporadic or anything like that. You're really just trying to be poised and, and calm. What else is the Ten of Wands? Five of Swords. But see, I feel like this masculine energy... They're just watching. I feel like they're watching you struggle. They know damn well that you're doing everything. And they watch, they just watching you struggle. And it's really petty. But see, that five of swords tells me that they're only hurting themselves. It's going to pay off. All of this that you're going through, I know it don't feel like it. I know you're probably irritated. I know you're probably tired of hearing it. I know that you fed up with the situation. You're exhausted. You want to take a nap. Your ass is tired. You ready to quit that motherfucking job. But you are literally almost there. Like you're literally right at the precipice. If that's the right word. You're right at the threshold. What is that? Hey Siri. Hey Siri. What does precipice mean? Bitch. What does precipice mean? She ain't even fucking listening to bitch. Hey Siri. What does precipice mean? Precipice means 
a very steep rock face or cliff, especially a tall one. Yeah, it's like you, you, you feel like you've been going climbing a mountain, a very steep rock surface or hill or whatever she said. Yeah, I feel like you, you've you been climbing this mountain. You've been climbing this mountain, but I feel like the burdens are about to subside. Yeah, they're, see? See what the fuck I mean? You're almost at the finish line, and somebody is watching you, and that shit, somebody is watching you, sitting there drinking. They might be sitting around drinking, eating a lot, being lazy, not saying anything, not supporting you, being petty. But there's about to be a shift that I don't that you don't see coming. It's hidden. There's a hidden change that's about to happen. And I feel like it's it's something involving justice. Yeah, new beginning. Some of y'all could be <clears throat> <clears throat> damn. Some of y'all could be finding a new job. Some of y'all could be signing a new contract. <clears throat> or there's about to be a new there may be a new boss that's getting hired at your job there could be some type of secret change that's about to happen like maybe there's going to be a pay rate increase but there's something about the knowledge that you have that is going to give you an advantage and the ability to have a fresh start. See the world. There's a new beginning because something ended and there's the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. So it could be a new boss who's going to start appreciating you, maybe paying you more, realizing that somebody was out to get you at work. There could be a change in the laws where, you know, 2222, there could be a change in the laws to where, like, your baby daddy, baby mama, ex-husband, ex-wife, whatever petty ways that they've been getting away with not paying you what they owe you, that's going to change. I feel like it's a change, and you're going to be happy about it. I feel like you may have a new caseworker. Or something coming in. Yeah, I feel like you're about to get some type of letter in the mail. There's going to be some type of letter in the mail or communication about a change. Death card, Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands, Knight of Wands. It's going to protect you and your children. Or it's going to be some type of protection from what someone's been doing all this time and i feel like you can walk away from this pettiness i feel like somebody is about to change there's about to be a change i don't know if it's a change to the laws but you may like have a new caseworker or someone may um start enforcing your child support or you may have a new boss that comes in uh above your own boss or just above you um, they may open up a new position, you apply for it, and then you get it. It's like there's some type of shift that's happening to where whoever's been watching you struggle is no longer going to be able to just sit by and watch you struggle. Three of Wands, somebody's looking at something with a magnifying glass. Somebody's really observing what you're doing. So they're going to give you an opportunity where you should have already had an opportunity and you, you weren't being treated the way you deserve. And they're watching you and your behavior and the way that you carry yourself is it's like self-evident. We hold these truths to be self-evident. So there could be a change to the law. There could be some type of constitutional um, violation. I don't know. But there there's something... Like maybe somebody's violating the constitution, they're violating the court orders, they're violating uh child support enforcement, they could be violating some some uh rules with HR. But I feel like you're getting a, there's a shift, there's a change in direction. 
Okay, what's the three of wands? Because someone is watching. See? The death card again. Yep. Expect a shift. Expect something to be cleaned up. So somebody could be going through the records at the courthouse, going through the records at child support. You could have a new caseworker and see that a motherfucker been on enforcement for six, seven years and ain't been arrested, ain't had to pay shit. I don't know what's going to happen, but expect something to change. Okay. Maybe you just get a lot of business to come in. Say you don't have any kids. Say you're single. Say you guys are just trying to make ends meet. You're trying to balance your job and a business or two businesses. Y'all can have a shift. Somebody could recommend you to other people or somebody could see how you have progressed and they start like shouting out your business. Then you get all these customers coming in. I feel like just expect positive change. Just expect it. Say, God, I know that you got my back. Whoever you believe in, spirit, God, whatever. God, I know that you got my back. Thank you so much for this change that you are bringing to my life. Thank you for getting me through the struggles and the hard times and keeping me positive. Thank you for showing me how strong I am and for blessing me in this way. I am forever grateful and thankful for the ways that you make in my life. Amen. Amen. What's the three of wands? Ten of pentacles. See what I'm saying? That money. There's about to be a change in your finances. From the two of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. Things going slow, being confusing, uncertain of what's going on, feeling exhausted to the death card and the ten of pentacles. Keep hope alive. Be like fucking Jesse Jackson, bitch. Keep hope alive. Don't give up. It's something that's going to come through. Something is about to come through. What's the three of wands, death card, and the ten of pentacles? Yup, ten of swords. Somebody is looking at someone very closely. Look, the Ten of Swords is somebody getting stabbed in the back, but you can't see because you're facing this way, but the ghost facing that way. Somebody is looking very closely at what someone has been doing to try to kill your spirit, break you down, or to avoid their responsibilities. It's a very close observation that is going on. And there's a change that's being made. Yeah, something is about to move really quickly. Oh, shit. The devil. Somebody's locked up in a cage? I don't know. Somebody might be going to jail. You might be getting some type of payout. I feel like somebody's going to jail. Somebody's going to have a really high bail. I was picking up the police on another reading, but there's about to be a major change. Something's about to move really quickly, and I feel like you're going to have a lot of confidence. I feel like your confidence is going to be restored, but you have to remain courageous. There's somebody who's, ooh, and there go the justice card. Yep. They, somebody is getting caught. Somebody is getting caught up after a long fucking time. Seven of Pentacles, Temperance, Chariot, Five of Cups, Three of Cups. I feel like there's about to be some type of change in, like, I don't know. There may be some type of changes at your job, HR, whatever record keeping, bookkeeping. But I really feel like for those of you who are dealing with child support, alimony, someone's expenses are being reviewed of like how they're not paying child support, but they're doing all this other shit. How somebody walked out.
I feel like somebody's going to lose something in court. Justice for families is justice for families because somebody's getting caught up in the truth. Somebody is getting caught up in the, a lie that they told. And I feel like the truth, the lie is about to be discovered. Therefore, the truth can be revealed. Yep, and there's that's what I'm saying. It's gonna be a major victory. It's gonna be a major victory. Yeah, I feel like somebody's been holding back some money. They've been holding back some money from you. Yeah, and I feel like I feel like they it's about to be discovered. I really feel like there's a lot of justice that's about to come out. And I feel like the universe, God, spirit, whoever you believe in, honey, they're trying to see which one of y'all are, you know, going to stay faithful, dedicated, positive, uplifted. You know what I mean? What's the advice for my collective in this situation? Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, father, mother, God. Yeah, speak your truth. If you have to say something about what somebody's been doing, don't be trying to sugarcoat it to help that motherfucker. Say what you need to say. Even if it was your boss, don't be afraid to get in trouble if they say, oh, we're going to come in and review what's going on. Say what you feel like you need to say. Don't be irate. Like I said earlier, y'all got a lot of poise about how you've been handling situations. Have class, have cooth, have poise, but tell the truth. Speak your truth. Let it be known what the fuck is going on. What else? One more card for advice. Yeah, tourmalinated cords, get out of your own way. So there's something that you're kind of holding yourself back on. Maybe it's with your belief and your your courage. Maybe it's with your um, optimism. Maybe you need to improve on your optimism. And whether or not you believe in good things happening, I feel like if you always think negative things are going to happen, that's what's going to happen. And I feel like you guys are struggling with some fear, but I feel like that's not real. And it's really hard not to see past it when that's what you've been in your whole life, but it's not real. It does not exist. And it's, it's bullshit. Okay. At the bottom, ground yourself. Remember all the times that you've gotten out of rough situations and open the door to positiv positivity. Ooh. The signs out here, Capricorn with the devil, maybe Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Cancer. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the message. Thank you for being here. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Take advantage of that personal reading special because I don't know how long I'm going to be having it, y'all. Um, join Patreon if you want Zodiac Sign readings. Follow me on Instagram. And remember, stick to the positivity today and every day. Be blessed. And don't let these motherfuckers steal your joy. Bye.